students how are you i hope all of you are fit and fine our today's topic of discussion will be food and digestion this is chapter number 1 from living science textbook and we will be discussing mcqs question and answers from this particular chapter so let us start so let us begin with tick the correct answer and first in that list is egg fish cheese peas and pulses are called dash the options are energy giving food body building food protective food so what is the correct answer body building food okay because these food items especially eggs fish cheese peas and pulses they have lot of proteins in them and protein helps us to build our body okay so many times it is said that children should have lot of protein diet okay lot of uh, food items which has protein in it why because protein helps them to build their bodies so it is very necessary especially when a person is growing so for kids many times protein rich food is preferred okay let us move on to the next question the next question is these are protective foods options are bread and butter peas and pulses fruits and vegetables so what is the correct answer the correct answer is fruits and vegetables okay why do we call fruits and vegetables as protective foods because they protect us from various diseases because they have this vitamins and minerals which help us to fight against diseases okay so let us move on to the next question the next question is question 3 calcium potassium sodium iodine and iron are examples of vitamins then minerals carbohydrates and what is the correct answer the correct answer is minerals okay calcium potassium sodium iodine and iron are examples of minerals fourth question the fourth question is from the mouth the food passes through the food pipe into the dash the options are small intestine large intestine stomach what is the correct answer the correct answer is stomach okay from mouth the food passes through food pipe into the stomach okay so here i have shown stomach okay well let us move on to the next question the next question is do not wash vegetables and fruits the options are before eating them then after cutting them and option c is ever so do not wash vegetables and fruits what is the answer after cutting them why we should not wash vegetables and fruits after cutting because when we wash this vegetables and fruits after cutting some of the vitamins which are water soluble they get washed away which is not good because we are wasting the vitamins okay so we should wash them before cutting well let us move on to the next question now the next question is complete the following table of nutrients so proteins the sources of proteins are pulses meat cheese then peas eggs fish etc and what are the function the function is it helps us to grow carbohydrate the sources of carbohydrate are rice wheat potato and function is it gives us energy then fats the sources are nuts oil butter and the functions are give us more energy then vitamins the sources are fresh fruits and vegetable and it helps our body to fight diseases then minerals fresh fruits vegetables meat fish liver milk and what are the functions functions are it helps in the formation of bones teeth and blood let us move on to the next question match the columns so body building nutrients in one column protective nutrients change of food into simpler form digestive liquid in mouth muscular bag in the digestive system makes food last longer these are the uh, things given in column a and in column b we have saliva stomach preservation proteins digestion and vitamins and minerals so which things 
or uh, which terms matches which term that we have to do well the answer is body building nutrients matches with proteins as we all know that proteins help us to build our body then protective nutrient it matches with vitamins and minerals then change of food into simpler form it matches with digestion then digestive liquid in the mouth is called saliva so it matches with a then muscular bag in the digestive system goes with stomach just now i showed you the picture then makes food last longer this is preservation so these are the answers for match the columns then comes our next question which is right short answers first question why do we need food the answer is we need food as it allows us to grow stay alive gives us energy to work and keep us fit and healthy then second question name any three food items which contain starch here you will write rice wheat and potato contain starch then name any four sources of vitamins and minerals the answer to this question is fresh fruits vegetables milk and fish are sources of vitamins and minerals then fourth question what is a balanced diet a balanced diet is that which has right amount of all nutrients that is carbohydrate fats proteins vitamins and minerals then fifth question where does the digestive food uh, enter from the stomach here you will write from the stomach the digestive food enters into small intestine okay so these were the short answers now let us see some long answers what happens to the food in the mouth here you will write in the mouth our teeth bite and chew the food and break it into small pieces next point you will write as we chew the saliva in our mouth mixes with the food then you will write saliva is a digestive liquid secreted by salivary glands okay and last point you will write saliva changes the insoluble starch into soluble sugar okay so these are the things which happen when the food is in mouth okay second question what is the function of small intestine here you will write the inside walls of the small intestine produce a juice that mixes with the food the next point you will write the liver and the pancreas also pour their juices into small intestine the next point you will write this juices help to completely digest the food and then you will write the blood vessels present in the walls of the small intestine absorb the digested food and carry it to all the parts of the body okay so this was the answer to the question what is the function of small intestine now let us move on to third question what happens to our food when it enters the stomach till it reaches the large intestine here first point you will mention from the mouth the food passes through the food pipe into stomach the food is churned here then digestive juices in the stomach break down the proteins into simpler form from stomach the food is further pushed into a long coil tube called small intestine the inside walls of small intestine produce a juice that mixes with the food the liver and the pancreas also pour their juices into small intestine this juices help us to completely digest the food so this is what happens when food from stomach reaches till large intestine well let us move on to the next question what is preservation here you will write food is valuable and if not preserved it may begin to spoil and then you will mention the process of treating food in a way that preserves its value for a long time is called preservation okay and then you will write cooked and uncooked food can be preserved in different ways okay so this is what we call as preservation why do we preserve food so that it should not get waste students with this we have arrived on to the last question for the day which is how do we preserve food here you will start by writing we can preserve food in one of the following ways and then you will write the different ways like refrigeration is there then boiling canning pickling jelling 
drying so all these are the different ways of preserving food so students with this we have solved the exercise of the lesson if you have any question feel free to ask you can put your questions in comment box thank you for watching this video see you during next session with a new topic until then take care bye bye